Hello everyone, Joel Peter here. So this is a brand new unboxing of the XPG SX8200 Pro M.2 NVMe SSD from A Data. So my YouTube AdSense money came in and I figured, you know what, let's just actually go ahead and make that video one of the viewers asked me to make. Comment is right here. Uh, very, very nice. nice. Comes with some solid software which we're gonna be using here our Conus True Image, and then we'll actually have the video itself of the SSD upgraded into the laptop. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna go ahead and show how to upgrade the Dell G7 7590 gaming laptop. You know the previous video. You're gonna to wanna to unscrew this screw, 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 and this screw. Make sure you use the correct screwdriver size. You don't wanna lose these screws, you get pain. Now I just freshly backed up this laptop, so it's gonna be nicely ready to go, as I didn't have an ability to clone the SSD, so I just went ahead and used the software that's completely free to basically back it up onto a 1.5 terabyte external that I have. And from there, I then went ahead and have it backed up. So I'm just gonna restore it with a restoral image. Should just pop off like that. Great, so our M.2 is right under here, under the shield. So we're just gonna remove this screw. We're gonna put that in a safe place. And then we just pull off, put a bit of, little bit of pressure. So anyways, yeah, there you are. So you pop a little bit of pressure and the plate just comes off. Now you don't actually have to take off the plate if you don't want to. Here's your M.2 itself. This is a smaller form factor. I'll post on the screen which one it is. Just gonna unscrew it as such. Make sure you don't lose that screw and pull it out. There it is. There's your M.2, the very generic Hynix M.2, and it works fine. It's an NVMe, but it's not as fast as we want it to be. Start that again. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to lock this into place. So we have our nice little heat shield on it. Now you don't actually need this, but if you want it to look cool, you're just gonna take one end and just place it onto it as such. Drop it down, and you're just gonna screw it back down all the way. It nicely clicks. Now you can put the shield back on if you're so inclined. Perfect, so we'll just take our other screw here that we had here, and we're gonna pop it back on. So now it's all tightly secured back in. It's on nice and tight. Perfect. Now your device is upgraded. Now, so what I've decided to do is grab this standard 250 gig SSD, just, you know, normal, regular SATA 3 SSD, uh, because someone did ask about this as well, about how to install an SSD into this and upgrade. Here's a one terabyte mechanical hard drive. Nothing special about it, it's just a mechanical hard drive that came with it. I personally don't recommend mechanical drives if you can avoid it. It's nice for storage space, but when you're dealing with laptops and gaming laptops, sometimes it's better to pull it out and put it into an enclosure. We'll take our SSD here and we're going to pop it into the cage and I'll show you how to do that in a second. So first part, take it out here and then that gives us a bit of area to work with. And we're going to take this last screw out, which is going to release it. Now it moves very freely. Careful with this ribbon cable, you don't want to break it. That would be the end of your machine. Here it is, it's a standard Seagate Mobile HDD one terabyte. So to make sure our SSD is secure and our hard drive has a place to go into our enclosure, we're just gonna be undoing these screws here from this, just to pull it out. Now these are a pain in the butt, because they are kind of tightly wound, but they just come out pretty easily. It's just when you're, you gotta put a little bit of force, so don't be afraid to do that. Now you have our little mounting plate. Same thing as before, this could just do it in reverse. So now we've gone ahead and reinstalled the screws. As simple as before, we're just gonna pop it into the case itself and just place it back down. And now you're going to re-screw it all back in. Now, the other thing too is if you don't wanna have a 2.5 drive, you can go ahead and get the 90 watt battery. It might be a little bit more difficult. It has better battery life, but frankly, this thing should always be plugged in anyways if you're aiming on it. And there we go. That's how you upgrade your Dell G7 gaming it's laptop. Company. I'm gonna show you how to restore your the image. So first off, you're gonna click on Yes. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to go ahead and go to browse on the for image file. We're gonna choose our image file so that's in our 1.5 terabyte, which is right here. We're gonna go to downloads, M.2 backup, and click on our image. Now we'll go ahead and hit restore image. And now it's going to do its thing. 
Now you go ahead and choose the select disk to restore to. So we want to go to our one terabyte, which is right here. And we click on next. Okay, that's fine. Click on yes. Scroll down, it tells you all the stuff and click finish. And now it will go ahead and restore it. Ideally, you want to use a, an M.2 enclosure that's external so you can go ahead and back it up a lot faster, but this will work. I'll be back in a moment to show you the rest of this. So no, God, uh, we please, have a problem. No, no. Device which does not exist was specified. So we're gonna reboot it. We're gonna take out our flash drive and we're gonna see what happens. Flash drive is out. Now this 1.5 terabyte has been known to have issues. Thing is I could always install the previous drive. Nope. Uh, we're gonna try something here. So by using a secondary flash drive that I have, I'm just gonna reinstall Windows and start fresh. fresh. Good to do that. There we are, fingers crossed. We have it booting into something which is our Windows boot environment. All right, we're gonna go ahead and apply the absolute max amount of space we can, and there we go. We'll go in there and adjust it later, but that's pretty much, it should be all of our partitions and everything. Hit next, and there we go. Installing Windows is normal. Sometimes you just need to restart. Sometimes it's a better idea, and plus I have it backed up, so if need be, I can just restore the image. There should be no issues anyway, so. So again, see you in the next part where we actually test speed and some other things. So guys, I hope you liked this video. Uh, I did take quite a while to make it. It's been two, two and a half days worth of work. I just wanted to show this beautiful SSD that I have picked up. I wanna know what you guys are using uh, for your hardware. See if this video helped you. If it has, please uh, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more interesting things that I come up with. It was a pleasure making this one for you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.